But let's move on now to uh, one other story that many people are talking about. A lot of us, a lot of Nigerians have been waiting for the president to speak. And the president of Nigeria, Muhammadu Buhari, has finally broken his silence. On the leaked NSARS reports where the Lagos panel, in its findings, said uh, security operatives killed unarmed protesters who had guarded at the Leki toll gate. Now, on Thursday, Buhari, while receiving uh, Secretary of State of U.S. Antony Blinken, now he told the audience that the federal government will allow the system to exhaust itself and it will wait for pronouncements from state governments that set up panels to probe police brutality in the country. Well, according to a statement by Special Advice on Media and Publicity, Femi Adishin Obwari said, so many state governments are involved and uh, have given different terms of reference to the probe panels. In other words, Buhari also went ahead to make it clear that uh, he would wait for them to act uh, before it gets to the federal level. And that's exactly what uh, a lot of Nigerians are expected. Don't forget, uh, another panel has been set up mm. to uh, eventually provide uh, uh, the uh, government with the white paper that everyone's waiting for. So actions will be taken uh, based on that. Well, the big question, Joe, is uh, because when we first reported about the one that came from Lagos panel, mm -hmm. uh, it was, we reported even from a press perspective that it was leaked. And there have been lots of debates about uh, the authenticity of this you know, report about this white paper. Yes, it's not going to the federal government yet, but with the kind of mood we are seeing, it looks like perhaps this might be it. Uh, yeah, hopefully. And a, a lot of Nigerians uh, are actually happy now that the president has come out to speak. Uh, it's not been a case of being quiet. We mm. know ever since this incident has taken place, apart from the fact that he had uh, um, uh, he spoke when he addressed the nation as a whole, many were expecting to hear more. Mm. But now he has come out to speak. We don't know if it's Blinken that made that, that moved mm. the president to speak, but it's always the fact that he hasn't said enough or a lot about mm. this incident. Rather, you have Lai Mohammed, who is the Minister of Information, yeah, like, who's always out. at the forefront mm. to speak. And he hasn't spoken to as well. Uh, so uh, a lot of people were expecting that it would be Lai Mohammed who would come out to mm. speak rather than the president. But now the president has taken the bull by the horn and said, mm. you know what, this is what Nigerians are asking for when their issues come out and speak. Well, it's also interesting because the comments from uh, Femi Adishino, uh representing the president uh, mood in this one talks about how they will let the state governments lead when it comes to their separate panel of inquiries that have come in. And we know that of Lagos has clearly raised eyebrows in uh, whether they've been holes plugged in the, in the reports. People mm -hmm. felt perhaps maybe some of them are not, you know, are quite uh, contradictory, so to speak. But though it's got into the hands of Lagos State Governor Sam Wodo and looks like the white paper will be presented and it will go upstairs. Now, with the federal government coming out to give this kind of statement, does it mean that some of these reports will be accepted and will be acted upon perhaps the recommendations these are, these are the questions because when it comes to NSAS, it does seem to have a bit of a pinch in Nigeria mm. since October 2020 last year. That's right. That's right. And, we, and, we, and we're looking forward to see um, what that white paper will contain. But bear in mind that um, it's still purported to be a leaked, leaked report and not certain yet. So that's exactly what we're going to look forward to. But anyway, let's bring to you more top stories as we leave Nigeria. We're going to make our way straight to uh, another part of Africa. This time, we'll be going straight to South Africa. On. Breakfast Central.